My name is Alex Palomero. Today I'm going to show you how to track URL parameters in Marketo. Specifically, we're going to work with Marketo's Forms 2.0, and I'm going to show you how we use this technique for recruiting in tracking Craigslist advertising. You can use the exact same technique for social advertising. Let's jump into it. Go into a form, add a hidden form or hidden field, associate that field with whatever field in your database that you want. So in my case, I use lead source. You may choose something else. Click edit. From here, you can choose a default value if you want. You have a couple of different options under get value from. I'm just going to choose URL parameter for this example. And parameter name is key. You need to type in whatever you want Marketo to look for. Now, I use UTM underscore content, which is associated with my Google Analytics campaign tracking. I'll show you what I mean. Here I am in my Google Analytics campaign tagging tool. I have another video on my YouTube channel for how to uh, use this tool. It's free. It's a free application on Google. It's easy. It allows you to track uh, your URLs. It allows you to minify them or shorten them using Bitly or Google Shortener. And you can check it out. It's really cool. But in this case, what I'm actually looking for, oh, let, me, let me make a change to this. Here's the URL that I'm looking for. I'm telling Marketo, look for UTM content. It's going to pull anything after the equal sign. So this piece of code, P underscore CL underscore careers for paid Craigslist careers into my lead source field in Marketo. If you wanted to choose and look for something else, UTM campaign, for example, then you would type in UTM campaign. You would go back here and it would pull in Lewis Careers. It would pull this value, Lewis Careers, into your lead source field. Once you, fit, once you add the information into your, uh, your parameter name here, go ahead and go to Marketo and create a couple of smart campaigns. I use a tracker folder. Where this, makes, this helps me look for different types of URLs that are out there in our advertising. So in this case, we've got a Craigslist one. We just built this on February 17th. We just implemented it a week or two ago um, when we were looking for some new folks on Craigslist to work for us. But in this case, you can build a smart campaign, go to your smart list, use the fills out form trigger. Form name is any, query string contains, P underscore CL underscore careers. What I'm asking Marketo to do is if anybody fills out any form that we have and the URL or the query string contains this piece of code from our Google Analytics campaign tracking, then here's what I want you to do, Marketo. If this is our first lead source, populate it with Internet Paid Craigslist Careers. I use this term instead of P underscore CL underscore careers because this value is shot off to our sales team or our recruiting team in an, the form of an alert. And I want them to be able to see the words and make sense of it. I use multiple choices here because I want to track multiple touch points. If for some reason lead source is full, maybe they came to us via a job fair and we've re-engaged them using this Craigslist post, then lead source 2 would be populated as the Craigslist post, etc. I also use change data value, which enables me to say, it's a checks and balances, really. Hey, Marketo, if I don't have the acquisition program already, please attribute the acquisition program to Lewis Careers. I schedule this to go through the flow one time. I create one other smart campaign. This is for reporting purposes, mostly. I use fills out form, same information here. I choose the flow step, and I say change program status to online advertising converted. This means that this Craigslist post got me a form fill out or a form conversion. That's how you do it. The same process works for uh, obviously Craigslist, but Career Builder or Monster. If you're in social advertising, you can use this for Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter. I separate things between organic and paid. Marketo is a very effective tool for measuring the return on investment of our campaigns. And this is one of the ways that we do it, either in social advertising or in recruiting, we're able to say these different campaigns work for us. We're going to put more money, more effort into those, less into the ones that don't work. We've seen uh, better, let's see, more candidates come out of this process 
for recruiting. We've seen a better quality candidate pool for recruiting. When it comes to social advertising, we've seen uh, more leads, more sales. I'm Alex. Hopefully this is helpful to you. If there's something in here uh, that you have a suggestion to make this better, make this process work even better, please put it in the notes in the YouTube video, and we'll look forward to giving that a go.